What we're going to look at next is very similar to the last one. We're going to look at uh, 3 to the x power. So again, when you plug in 0, you get 1. So we'll be there. Plug in 1, you get 3. 2, you get 9. And then 3, you get 27. So again, when your base increases a little bit more, you can start to see a little bit more of the rational function. So 4, 5, 6, 7. So as we increase our base, you can see the numbers got larger a little bit more quickly. Uh, whereas 2 to the third was 8, now 3 to the third is 27. So negative 1 will give us 1 third, negative 2, 1 ninth, and negative 3, 1 over 27. So we're graphing these. We'll graph it like a little something like that. All right. Now, one thing you should start, should start to see uh, in terms of characteristics of all uh, exponential functions is that all exponential functions, unless we move our function left, right, up, or down kind of stuff, uh, what you'll see is you'll have a y-intercept of uh, 0, 1. And the reason being is because anything to the 0 power will give us 1. So all uh, nice little exponential functions will have that value. You should see that as x gets larger and larger and larger, that you're going to end up going to positive infinity. But it's not going to be limited to where it goes, like a vertical asymptote. This doesn't have a vertical asymptote. And all these will have a horizontal asymptote, again, like we talked about, at y is equal to 0. So characteristics of basically an exponential function. So you may need to know those. Of course, the domain and range is also the same.